Okay, now we have the our application up and running on the domain isopax.com and everything is perfect. We, we, we can search the, uh, we can get the data, we can search and so things work uh, as it is and it's, it's working good. But if you, if you look at the uh, console, so we will we, we, uh, check the network uh, network connections and we can see, right, let's search for something new, right? So when you're searching, you can see we are sending HSR request. That means for, that's for the, so now we are using, uh, we are, we have disabled WebSocket because we need to go to our, our DDB traffic to the uh, Cloudflare uh, for the uh, security purpose and all those things uh, uh, for the SSL and uh, other things. So now if you look at the one, those HSR uh, requests, so we can see uh, even the uh, our domain name is on uh, isopax.com uh, these urls still have the ip addresses that means so all these uh, things are all the ddp requests are going to the uh, balances now we haven't updated our balances with the new url uh, with the new url so we are trying to do that now so we have to do this because of this reason so now we are going now we are trying to go to the HTTPS version of our page. Now we can get the data, we can get the HTML content, but we can't connect to the actual uh, DDP connection because it's trying to go to a normal connection without an SSL. So Chrome throws an error and it doesn't allow us to go uh, connect to this these resources so let's try to do that so we can simply go to the cloudflare and then try to add the new domains right isopax.com so we need to go for the cloudflare and then let's select the domain go to dns settings and let's add two domains so we're adding the each balances to a, its own subdomain like this and it it'll, those traffics also go to the Cloudflare, so we have we can have the SSL support for this domain. All right, we add the new other domain as well, like this and add this. So now we have two domains: one.isopax.com and two.isopax.com for the balances. So let's add these the two domains as the new new balances. All right, I can go to the configurations now not this one right this one so now go to the balances settings right this one in the, the balances settings I can simply use HTTPS one dot isopax dot com the other one is two dot isopax dot com then I can open my application and then I can do a map reconfig then it will update the environmental environment variable on the server. Uh, this will take up to 30 seconds, so let's wait until it's completing. Okay, now our environment variable has been updated, so now we can use the application with SSL support. So let's try to see that. All right. And I can go to the my browser, let's say isopax.com using HTTPS URL. Now I can see the content. So it will take some time to get the connection to the connection because we haven't enabled fast render. So now we, we have the content here. So now we can search. So it's, it's, it's happening and it's, it's working pretty well. So if, if you look at the now the network, network tab of the uh, developer console. So let's try to search for something else. So now you can see. So now it's using a balancer URL that we have updated. So now all the traffic goes through the Cloudflare uh, with uh, into the uh, balancers and we have the SSL support. So now this is working pretty well and so we have completed our application with our highly available um, Meteor cluster. We have completed, uh, implemented that one. I think this is great.